The film begins with a beautiful girl named Mickey. He just arrived at the station. The goal is to continue the journey to a fairly remote area. Where there is a beautiful island that has classic castles where nuns live in the Sakura country. And she said she wanted to repent and choose the path of becoming a nun. But when Mickey arrives at a suspension bridge leading to the castle, Mickey is actually still hesitant about his decision to suddenly choose to become a nun. But because it was a good goal, Mickey kept his feet on the ground and also his determination to become a nun. Then the next day Mickey had put on the proud robes of a sister and would be responsible for being a servant of the church in the castle and house of worship. Mother Teresia as the leader of the castle was very proud to see Mickey's desire to become a nun. Mother Teresia then wished Mickey to always be happy and healthy always. Misguided then Asami representing Mother Teresia introduces Mickey to the other nuns. Then Noriko, one of the senior nuns there, was very happy to see that Mickey, who was very beautiful, wanted to choose to become a devotee. Seeing that, Asami and the other sisters seemed offended because Noriko seemed a bit excessive towards Mickey. And from their conversation we finally know that Noriko is Mickey's best friend. Noriko also gave a complete and special room for her best friend. And Mickey was very grateful to Noriko who had warmly welcomed his arrival. The night before the break Mickey wrote a story about his life path that has become a nun. But suddenly he even remembered Kumamoto, his former lover during college. What turned out to be their way of dating was a bit strange, they often had sexual relations, but the way was very, very hardcore. But fortunately Mickey soon realized and threw away the memories and went to rest. In the middle of the night, Mickey wakes up from a dream. Mickey dreams of meeting his former lover Kumamoto and from that dream Mickey becomes truly sexually lustful. It was then that Mickey came to his senses and in the end he immediately begged for forgiveness and regretted his mistakes in the past. Mickey realizes that a sister has been cursed and should not think about lovers. The next day Mickey got ready to clean up. At that time, he found two seniors who were having sexual relations. This also makes Mickey so confused, how can they do that in a holy place? After that Mother Teresia gave Mickey the first test. Which is where you will send it to a social institution. And without lingering, Asami immediately invited Mickey to slide into the orphanage. They were also accompanied by a driver, and when on the way Mickey then felt a bad feeling. But Mickey chose to ignore it and stay calm and hope it was just a bad feeling. Long story short after arriving at their destination a man named Hiroshi welcomes them and gets acquainted with Mickey, the junior nun. Then Hiroshi transferred Mickey to his branch of the social institution. The reason there is more people need the services of Mickey. That night, they went to the beach, where they found it. They then continued their journey on foot. When Mickey is about to cross over to the bridge, it turns out that Kumamoto's former lover Mickey is there. And worked as a security guard on the bridge, Kumamoto was surprised to see Mickey back. He's been looking for Mickey for a long time. Then Mickey apologized that he had decided to become a nun. Mickey had promised that he would be a teacher. Kumamoto couldn't believe the clothes Mickey was wearing. Unable to see Kumamoto, Mickey runs away from Kumamoto. Kumamoto had wanted to pursue Mickey because he wanted to tell Hiroshi and his friends were bad people who just wanted to use him. But Mickey kept running and ignored what Kumamoto said. After that Mickey immediately prayed to apologize for all his bad deeds. And when Mickey was praying, Asami actually mixed Mickey's drink with dope. And planned something for him. After being sorted out praying his senior Asami gives Mickey a drink. Asami seems concerned about the events experienced by Mickey. Without thinking about it, Mickey drank it. And a moment later Mickey immediately fell into a deep sleep. The next day Mickey and Asami are seen cycling around the village. But somehow Mickey just got lost. And passed by a local resident. Immediately the two other young men came and they immediately ambushed Mickey. Fortunately, Mickey escaped. But because he did not know the way to go home, Mickey was found again and he was immediately forced by the three young men. On the other side of Kumamoto comes Asami, and he asked Asami about the whereabouts of her lover Mickey. Asami tells him that Mickey is fine at the orphanage. And Asami asks Kumamoto not to tease her anymore. Kumamoto, who heard about it, became suspicious and tried to investigate Mickey at Hiroshi's social institution. Asami actually doesn't mind that Kumamoto wants to investigate and make sure that Mickey is okay there. But of course with a condition that Komamoto must close his eyes during the trip to the orphanage in question. In short, 
Kumamoto arrived at Hiroshi's social institution. And at that time he was immediately shocked because through the soundproof window it turned out that Miki was being harassed by three young men. Kumamoto is furious and asks Hiroshi to remove Miki. But here Kumamoto was made helpless because of Hiroshi's much tighter guard. In the end, Kumamoto was also detained at the social institution. Hiroshi shows Miki through the window and shows that he has installed a device that can make Miki vibrate on his sensitive parts. Only through a remote. Then a moment later when Hiroshi was caught off guard, Miki also managed to break the window and immediately ran away from the social institution. He immediately rushed and entered a warehouse in the middle of the forest. From a distance Hiroshi saw it and then pulled out the remote again. On the other side it turned out that the barn was inhabited by a man. Misguided then Miki was again made to tremble by Hiroshi the young man looked confused which in the end Asami also entered and again took Miki to the social institution again. As the days went by, Miki continued to be used as a toy by Hiroshi. Until one day Miki is taken and reunited with Kumamoto in the basement. Hiroshi then arrives and allows Kumamoto to make out with Miki. But in a really hardcore way. Anyway, until they hang up. Asami who saw him was jealous because Hiroshi also enjoyed Miki's body. Finally, the next morning, unbeknownst to anyone, Asami, who was jealous, took Miki and Kumamoto out of their orphanage. The two of them immediately went from there and explored the forest with great enthusiasm. While on the other side appears Hiroshi who immediately pursued the departure of Miki and Kumamoto. But from the car Asami, who did not want Miki back, finally chose to close the driver's eyes. And in the end accidents are inevitable. And the movie is over.